This video is on how to set my tutor schedule in Academia 7.0. First thing I'm going to do is log into my college uh, website and just use whatever ID you've been provided with and uh, the password. Once you've logged in, you're going to notice on the right side uh, a picture and your name. Uh, once you select that, you'll get your personal options. You're going to go ahead and click My Schedule. From there, you'll pick the center that you'd like to set your schedule for. Next, you'll go into um, selecting what mode you want to edit the schedule in. Um, we have three different modes. The first is Semester Mode. And this just basically does your normal work week, uh, Monday through Sunday, uh, without regards to any dates. You do have other options like exceptions only and merge mode, which will allow you to put an exception for a particular date. We're going to look at semester mode first. So with that selected, I get to now pick the semester I want to set up. Okay, um, we haven't got into the spring of 2020, so I'm going to go ahead and work on my fall 2019 schedule. Once I'm done, I just click Apply Filters. Now I have my um, schedule grid. And on here, I'm just going to click and drag across the days that um, I'm going to be working in those time slots. So I work Monday through Wednesday from 8 a.m. to noon. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag over those. Once I have them selected, now I get to select um, how I want to schedule this section as. So I have Available, Not Available, or not working. So if I say available, um, this will change that to a green color on the schedule. Um, I can optionally put a description uh, as to what that is. Um, we can also uh, choose the max number of attendees for that uh, time period that I'll, I'll be able to accept appointments for. This may be predetermined by your um, center admins, so you may not have to mess with that. But I only do one-on-one -on -one appointments, so I'm going to change that to one. Um, if I did groups of four or three, then I could change it to that number as well. Um, here under the courses slash skills, um, these would be the courses that I could help with. And I'm only assigned one, so that's all I'll be able to help with. And if I know that I can actually help with more, I might need to talk to my center admins about fixing that. Um, but for now, we'll go with that. Um, the services, maybe I can help with most of the services, but not all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and choose custom. And we're going to take off this computer use, but leave course tutoring and skills session on there. All right, finally, I click Save, and I'm done. There's my slot available uh, for that part of the week. Um, I can go ahead and continue to select other slots if I want uh, for my normal work week. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to now add an exception to our schedule. So this would be with a particular date in mind. So I'm going to go to um, exceptions only mode. And you can see here I can actually choose the uh, particular dates. So let's say on the 30th um, I need to have a day off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to show appointments in case I have any scheduled and click apply filter. Notice how my regular schedule went away. Um, if I want to view uh, my regular schedule overlaid by any exceptions, then that's where I would uh, use the merge mode now. So I'm going to apply that because I actually like that better than the um, exceptions only. So I'm going to apply. And now I have my normal schedule here. Um, but if you notice on the top here I have dates. So it is the week that I wanted. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just take off that Wednesday uh, and just mark that as not available. Okay, that's going to make a red uh, color, and because it is a one-time uh, event or an exception, I'll have like these little slashes through it as well when it color codes that. I'm just going to put a short description as to why. Alright, and then save that. So now you can see my normal schedule as well as the exception I've made. So you can see with all the different options I'm provided, I could definitely create the schedule um, so that students could start scheduling appointments with me. That's it.